Greetings from Wavelets Audio. Today we have something amazing for you. Our new library, Groth. Think mystical old northern gods, ancient cultures, tribes, Vikings, etc. All of this wrapped up in a contemporary cinematic sounding epic package. This video will be in two parts. In the first part, we'll go through the main instruments. The second part will cover the sound design elements in the library. Let's check it out. Let's begin with the Tagel Harpa. It's a three-stringed Baudelaire from Northern Europe. The conventional way of sampling would be to record all the strings one by one and then combine them together in the virtual instruments. However, this is not what we wanted to do. The real magic of the instrument lies within its imperfections. It almost sounds like it's out of tune. And for this reason, the only way to capture the real magic of the instrument is to record all the strings at once. When an artist plays the Tagel Harpa, the third string always plays the root notes, and then the melody can be played with strings one and two. Whenever you play the Tagel Harpa, you're hearing all three strings at the same time. When you're on the left of the keyboard, the melody is played by the second string. When you're on the right of the keyboard, the melody is played by the first string. Let's check it out. Also change the tuning. Let's go to D. You can change the rebound speed with the key switches, which are the red keys on the left of the keyboard. On to the percussion. We have ensembles first. Let's check them out. My favorite feature in the percussion is the flam. You can go from a single hit to a flam by holding down the key switch on the left or toggling on the flam feature in the contact player. We also have a set of three microphones which helps you tell the sound you want. I find the present slider very useful for quickly tailoring the sound. It's also very easy to make the tone darker or brighter. So this is a very versatile tool for a percussion because you have so many options to sculpt the sounds. The sequence mode makes it very easy to create your own rhythms and loop them. Let's check it out.
we also have almost a hundred presets for different rhythms. Let's check a few out. Next up we have the single percussion. These have the same features as the ensemble ones we just checked out. Let's see how it sounds. And then we have the single sweetener percussion. Let's check it out. Next up, wood percussion. Next up is the acoustic guitar. Okay, let's change the articulation. Let's go for palm mutes. Next up, harmonics. Let's move on to the voices. First up, we have the Luisa Legado. Let's change the legato type to standard. Next up is the Bobby legato.
So as you can see, we have three different singing types. We have ohs, ahs and hmms. That's a nice palette to build from. Let's disengage the legato and hear some chords. <laughs> Then we have the throat singing. This one's pretty badass. We have two types of throat singing, Mongolian and Tibetan. We also provided the option to activate legato transitions. However, we feel that it's more authentic with the legato disabled. That's why it's disabled by default. Side chaining is a popular technique to use when combining the throat singing with drums or rhythms. For this reason, we added a standard LFO knob. Next, we have the voice sequence. This one's really cool. Let's first take a listen with the voice sequence in context with other sounds, and then dive into it. So, the voice sequence is a syllable instrument. You have four sections and each section can have up to eight voices. You can choose the voices one by one or you can randomize them. For the randomizing function you can randomize one by one or you can go to the bottom right corner and randomize one section all the way up to four sections at a time and the engine will randomize voices in all of the selected sections for you. You can remove single voices by clicking the X icon on the upper right corner. And by clicking add voice, you can add them back again. The voice sequence has one male and two females singing in unison. At the bottom, you can enable or disable the singers and also you can mix them with the volume knobs. You can choose between whisper and scream voice types. Let's take a quick listen to those. Let's randomize all the sections. The whisper. And once more, let's use the scream voice type. Crack 
That's very powerful. Let's listen to some of the presets. Next up is the solo cello. Let's check it out. That is some dark stuff. Let's check out the spiccato. Next up, Sol Pont Spiccato. Next up, Flotando. Next up, Credit Card. Next up, Open Strings. And then bends. Then we have the Dombra. It's a string instrument with two strings. We sample this instrument to play rhythms. There are four rhythm types, and the rhythm type depends on the velocity. Combining and mixing different rhythms makes it sound wonderful. Let's check it out. We also have another version of the Dombra. Here you can change the rhythms with the mud wheel. This is cool for designing some rhythms. Let's check it out. Next up is the Kangling. We think that you get the most magic out of it if you use it with a long reverb. Next up is the orchestral cellos. Here we didn't want to spend our resources on all possible orchestral articulations. Instead, we only did a handful of unique articulations. Let's check them out. First up is the Sal Ponticello Sustain.
That sounds nice. Let's go a bit lower. That's lovely. Let's check out the Sal Ponticello Tremolo. This one's perfect for some tension. Next up, harmonics tremolo. I love how organic this sound, very nice. Then we have the orchestral violins, same thing with the articulations, just a handful of special ones. Next up, Sol Ponticello Tremolo. Then we have orchestral effects. We also have a bunch of loops in the instruments. Let's check these out. Let's start with the toggle harper loops. Sounds very nice. And now let's check out the cello loops. And now, let's check out the didgeridoo.
wanted to make her sound design more organic, not hybrid or synthetic. And before we dive into the individual sound design elements, let's first take a listen to a small mix of several instruments, some percussion and sound design to see how they work together in context. Okay, moving on to sound design. First, we have Hits and Impacts 1. As you can tell, some of these hits have build-ups before the actual hits. It's easy to sync these up in your DAW by changing the start time or you can choose start time hit and it'll always start at the hit point. Okay, let's sync the start time to one bar before hit. And now half a bar before hit. It'll be perfectly on time. Another cool feature is you can reverse these samples. Let's check it out. And it's still perfectly in sync. Okay, let's play some more hits and impacts. Next up, pings. These sound so good. You can actually change the pitch of the samples by using the red key switches on the left. And the yellow marks the original pitch. Next up, signature sounds. and war bends in horns. Having these in combinations with all the impacts and hits in this library really gives you a lot of options. And then let's check out low impacts and booms. And next, clocking loops.
Let's move on to marching loops. Okay, next on the list, breather loops. That's nice and aggressive. Let's move on to low pulses. We also have a bunch of drones on board. Layer drones have three layers. You can mix the levels by using volume knobs or you can solo or mute the layers. You can also go to playable mode where you can play the selected drone as a tonal instrument. Let's take a listen. As you can tell, these layered drones have a lot of depth to them. And then we have these single drones. We also have organic playable synths on board. Let me show you my favorites. In this one you have dynamics assigned to the mod wheel, so you can really ride the dynamics. Just for that extra bit of expression. On to my next favorite.
and one more organic synth. Next up, pre-impact bushes. Then we have the risers. Instant film score vibe. One more. Next up, short hits and impacts. Then we have sub drops. Then let's listen to some of the whooshes. There's a lot of variety in here. Then we have air and human whooshes. In addition to these instruments and sound design elements, we have an additional folder that has high quality wave audio files. This is unique content not housed within the contact engine. At first, there are toolkits from experienced composers. And secondly, there are some high quality Foley sounds from the ancient and medieval eras. Thank you for watching the video. We are excited to hear how you use growth in your music.